two products that are in the ordinary range. One I've been dipping in and out of again, actually, similar, through mm -hmm. the winter. Um, and the other one I know that you're going to be trying soon. Yeah. So the first one is the vitamin C suspension, 23%, with hyaluronic spheres. Now what's interesting, and we've talked a lot about this, is vitamin C is very unstable. Mm. Um, we often see that the liquids change colour and it means that they're not really active anymore. This is in a water-free and silicone-free kind of cream gel. Yeah. So, completely stable. And I know you love a vitamin C. I do. So, 23% um, is going to be perfect for that brightening, that kind of antioxidant effect. Um, now, you tried the vitamin C serum and you didn't like the texture so much, yeah, did you? Yeah, I find this texture, again, is very slightly grainy. I think it's a vitamin C, yeah. This is so lighter than the serum. Do you think then, as you're, as you're actually putting that onto your skin, you're releasing the Breaks vitamin down. C? Could be, could be. I mean, I really liked the serum one, but this is definitely lighter. The serum one, I think I've just got used to using... Fluid. A fluid. Yeah. Um, a liquid that sinks in very easily. This doesn't sink in quite in the same way. Um, do you think this is better to use during the day? I would use vitamin C. My pr preference would be vitamin C during the day because it's going to give you that antioxidant. Um, it also depends what you're doing. I mean, if you're using any ret retinols, then you would use the retinol at night and then this during the day. You know, they're not ideal yeah. to mix. Um, the other thing with this is they're dehydrated hyaluronic spheres. So they kind of fatten up and smooth the skin yep. as you get so the moisture. I mean, it's, the it's, it's super smooth. It's gone in, it's sunk in, it's not greasy. Um, it's just that first point of contact where it feels a little bit grainy. Yeah. Now the other thing it's is, you know, we know that sometimes those vitamin C liquids can be, you know, over £100. Oh God, easily. £4.90. It's a bargain. So four pound ninety. Why wouldn't you buy it? Um, it's and I don't. I'm just trying to look on the size. I mean, what is it? Just look on the jar. Um, thirty. Thirty. Thirty mil. 30. Yeah. Um, and interestingly enough, this has just gone on to ASOS as well. Oh, so okay. I think you've got a young customer now buying into the ordinary, um, and obviously Victoria Health and all the usual places. And then the one that I'm trying, and I know a lot of you are massive fans of rosehip oil varies um, greatly in the grade. It must be cold pressed so that it's not destroying the ingredients. Um, and this is what I've been dipping in and out of. Now the interesting thing, you know, there's been a lot of um, interest and, and big um, people buying into vitamin A retinol oils. Yep. Some of them again are £100 oh, yeah. um, to use at night. Mm -hmm. Now this one actually has vitamin A in it. So you so cold pressed. Love the colour for a start. Yeah, you can see that it's not. You can see the quality of the oil, can't you? The minute you look at linolenic the linolenic acid. So again, comforting, yeah. buffering, nurturing. It's not an overpowering smell. No, I mean, it has that natural smell. It has that. It smells like very a slightly oil. fatty smell. Um, it's not not very uh, not very strong. No, I've used much stronger smelling oils. And then the Pro Vitamin A. Lovely, lovely texture. So I would tend to use this, and you know, again, if you're using a retinol treatment at night and you want to put some kind of nourishing into your skin, you could then use that on alternative nights. Okay. Um, or you could, if you don't want to go down the retinol route, you find it too much, introduce this into your routine so you're getting the benefits of the Pro Vitamin A. Um, without any um, side effects of the, of the retinol. So I know people that really swear by these, and again, similar to your product, you know, if you're feeling tired, run down, dehydrated, I mean, you know, you get on transport, the heating's on, you go in at home, and then you go out and it's cold. This is what you need to add in, and literally like one drop. And this one, nine pound. It's amazing. The other thing, I just find a little tiny drop of oil in with your foundation. Yes. This yeah. time of year just gives you a little bit of an extra barrier, a little bit of extra hydration, protects your skin, and this is so versatile. Yeah. There's nothing in it that, you, that would yeah. harm. And on. what's interesting and now actually as well, they're being a little bit more certainly on this um, informative on their packaging as to how to use because I know there's been a lot of questions. So they're saying here, yeah, apply once a day to the face, ideally at bedtime after the application of water-based treatments. Yes. So as we've always yes. said, you start your lightest serums first, um, and then you finish up with your creams. So yeah, fantastic. So 
Two more winners from The Ordinary. We'll update you with the vitamin C once Tracy uh, adds it into her routine.